Today is World Tsunami Day. In December 2015, the United Nations General Assembly designated November 5th as World Tsunami Awareness Day. It calls on countries, international bodies, and civil society to raise tsunami awareness and share innovative approaches to risk reduction. Regional Coordinator of the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management, ODPM, Eric Mackey, explained what causes a tsunami to occur while speaking on the Now Morning Show. The most common is a major earthquake. Okay. The earthquake would have to be of a magnitude greater than seven and um, shallow, at shallow depths less than 100 kilometers in the sea. Okay. If it's on the land, the probability of earthquake of a tsunami is reduced considerably, if not eliminated altogether. He said there are three types of tsunamis, a local tsunami, a regional tsunami, and a tele-tsunami. A local tsunami is one that happens within a hundred, was when an earthquake happens within a hundred kilometers of our coastline, mm -hmm. right? When that happens, under 20 minutes, the first waves will come ashore. Right. Right, it's a sudden onset event, and that's why it's so important for the, the population living on the coastline and within a couple miles of the coastline to understand this. Mm. Tsunamis are rare events but can be extremely deadly. In the past 100 years, 58 of them have claimed more than 260,000 lives or an average of 4,600 per disaster, surpassing any other natural hazard.